I'm here. I'm super excited to be part of the Iconic Academy Barber Community Showcase today. What I love about this school is it's the only school in Ontario for the past 32 years that's accredited. So if you're ever interested in doing hair, whether it be hairstyling or a barber, this is the place to go. It will set you up for success in your future career of doing hair, whether you're a hairstylist or whether you're a barber. I'm here today and getting to travel and do hair shows and really being able to experience all this career has to offer is because I didn't let people tell me that I wasn't good enough or that I couldn't do something. Because when I started this career, I had so many barbershops laugh in my face when I would try to apply there. I had so many people literally tell me that I would never be able to make a sustainable income and that people went to barbershops to escape women. And I'm so, so grateful that I didn't leave my career at those barber shops that told me that I wasn't good enough. Because I promise you, you can be whoever you want in this world and you can do whatever you want in this world. Don't let anybody tell you you can't do something. Because when passion's coming from your core, the universe will always support you. So, I'm rooting for you. We are in pixels on a screen, no, we're human, we breathe, every single thing we see curated. All right, so my name is Mark Payton and I'm at Iconic Academy. I'm from Halifax, Nova Scotia and I was part of the Community Barber Showcase. Um, and you know, for new students coming into the industry, the only advice that I can really have for you is, you know, stay humble, stay grounded. Um, always try to be better than you were the day before, but never try to be better than anybody else. Um, you know, end of the day, we're a customer service job and that's one thing that we touched on here today. So, uh, you know, just stay focused, stay grounded keep slogging. Hi, my name is Brett Kelly. I'm here today at Iconic Academy for the Community Barbering event and this school has been amazing. The people have been amazing and one thing I'm really excited about, about for Toronto too is this school because back home we only have one barber school in almost all of BC and we're not even accredited. So in BC you don't even have a license to cut hair. You can just pick up a pair of scissors, go out and just start cutting. Now myself, I had to go to hair school first and then apprentice as a barber, because in my area, there was no school. So to have something like this in Toronto that's actually bringing the accreditation for the service and for barbering is just amazing. It's been so awesome to be here and it's been so great to see this being taken to what it is and to what it is now. And imagine a utopia. Darling, I'm just so fed up with these expectations. They can weigh me down. My name is Frank Reimer. Uh, I'm the owner of Thigh Barber in Shoreditch in London, uh, UK. I'm here at the Iconic Academy um, just outside Toronto in Mississauga and um, we're here today to spread education throughout this side of the world. Um, I've been cutting hair for about 16 years and the thing I love the most about what we do for a living is the fact that we make people feel really good about themselves uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, I see up to 18 customers a day and to see 18 people walk out of my shop each day with a smile on their face brings the it means the world to me. So to be able to do this and educate people in, in Canada Hopefully, if you're a student, you can do this too. But I mean, this is one of my favorite things about being, being a barber is the fact that we get to meet so many great people every, everywhere we go in the world. Hey everybody, my name is Matty Conrad. I am here at the Iconic Academy in Mississauga, Ontario for the Community Barber Showcase today. And honestly, it's been amazing to see the community come together and support kind of traditional barbering. And, I think the interesting thing about our craft is that even though it's very old, it's still kind of new again. And there's a reinvention of barbering that's happened over the last little while where we're trying to kind of reinfuse some of the old school, old world mentality and old world traditional skill set into barbering again. And so when we get to do education like this or when you get to come to a school like Iconic, you really get to learn the, the foundations of our craft and that's the most important thing is learning the foundations of the craft that you're undertaking and getting into barbering is, is understanding that those skills are going to carry you through, help you provide for your family, they're going to help you take pride in your job, they're going to do all sorts of things for you going forward. So my biggest piece of advice to new barbers getting into barbering right now, especially if you're coming to Iconic or hanging out at a school like this is Never, never skip over the parts that you think are boring or the parts you think are dull. Understand that how important all of the things that you're learning are that you're going to be able to use for a long, long time in this industry. Always take pride in what you're doing 
and never do it for the gram. Always do it for the person in your chair. All that other stuff, it'll all come, but always focus on the client in your chair, taking best care you possibly can of them. So thanks a lot for having me, Iconic. I had a great time.